In this Revit tutorial, cut and fill schedules using the Graded Region tool that's coming up straight after this. Welcome to Power Search, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. If you are visiting today, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any future content. This is a topo surface modeled in Revit. This topo surface represents an existing site. To add cut and fill calculations, first switch to a plan view. To keep track through the process, first name the existing site, then sketch the pad envelope using detail lines. Switch back to 3D, where you will find the phase is set to existing. Change this to new construction and notice the graphics change to something similar to half tone. From there, move up to the ribbon and from the massing and site tab, find the graded region button. Click this and select option one from the provided list. You are now prompted to edit the points for the proposed site as required. Notice at this point, no changes have been made so the calculations remain zero. Before making any edits, define this iteration of the surface as new. Then, again before making any edits, revert back to a floor plan. I find it easier to make the edits in floor plan view. Now before commencing this workflow, I drew a section through the site to help me when at this point. Let's go to this view. It is important to set up your model with information before modeling commences. Here, I have established the floor level I want to work with. With that in mind, I can switch back to my site plan and start editing the points. I want to even out the swell here and cut away the high points from here. To do this, I select all points, which just exceed my building footprint and set their elevation to match my predetermined floor level. As I hit enter on that, Revit updates the cut and fill calculations instantly. Check the 3D to ensure that all looks as it should and then finish the command. Now we can audit the model to ensure that we have followed all of the steps. While still in new construction phase, change the phase filter to show all. This is a great time to highlight my video on template systems, which highlights phase filters. To watch it, click the link on your screen or the link in the comment section. What we can see here are both the existing and the proposed site surfaces at the same time. The proposed in red and the existing in black. I can switch between the two using the tab function. Notice on the existing site, it shows the site as demolished in the proposed phase. This is why when using the graded region tool, I selected the first option. From the massing and site tab, find the building pad button. Set the elevation. This is easy because of the predefined levels. Choose the appropriate floor level for your project. Then sketch over the previously made detail line marking and finish the sketch. Then switch back to a 3D view and change the phase filter back to filter 1. Then redefine the points to match the pad. Zoom in to get a nice clear view. Click the topo surface and then from the ribbon click edit surface. From there, find point. Check the point elevation is correct and then place the points as shown. When complete, finish the sketch. To schedule cut and fill calculations, right click in the project browser as shown. Set the schedule to the right phase and choose the topography category. The required fields are cut, fill, name, and net cut and fill. Move name to the top of the list, and on the filter tab, use the name parameter, and set this to equal new site, 
which was the name we gave to the proposed topo surface. And in sorting and grouping, check grand totals and deselect itemize every instance. Finally, in the formatting tab, set each of the calculation parameters to calculate totals as shown. Click OK and then the completed schedule will appear. With Revit schedules, it is possible to highlight listed elements. From the schedule, select the new site name and then from the ribbon, select Highlight in Model. This takes you to a 3D view where the new topo surface is shown. And here we can compare the cut and fill values to those from the schedule to ensure that these match. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope that you learned something new and found that interesting. If you did, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any future content. And I will see you in the next video.